The global semiconductor industry is at a crossroads. At the heart of this struggle lies the world's most advanced lithography equipment producer, ASML. This Dutch company holds a monopoly on extreme ultraviolet lithography machines. These machines are vital for manufacturing the most advanced chips that power our smartphones, computers and even military systems. However, access to this technology is restricted. The US, through export controls and the Wassenaar arrangement, has effectively barred ASML from selling EUV machines to China. This restriction is no small matter. It represents a significant hurdle for China's tech ambitions. China, a global leader in technology manufacturing, is heavily reliant on foreign companies for advanced chips. This dependence poses a significant risk to China's technological sovereignty. In response, China has embarked on an ambitious journey to achieve self-sufficiency in semiconductor manufacturing. A key part of this strategy is developing its own EUV lithography capabilities. This brings us to Shanghai Microelectronics Equipment, or SEMI-E. SME is China's national champion in lithography equipment. While not yet a match for ASML's technological prowess, SME has been making steady progress. The recent patent filing by SME for an EUV lithography machine marks a significant step forward in this endeavor. This development has sent ripples through the industry, signaling China's determination to break free from its dependence on foreign chip-making technology. The stakes are incredibly high. Success in developing domestic EUV capabilities would be a game-changer for China. It would not only reduce its reliance on foreign companies, but also reshape the global semiconductor landscape. The patent filed by SME in March 2023 is not just another patent. It represents a bold statement. It outlines a design for an EUV lithography machine, a technology previously considered out of reach for Chinese companies. The patent focuses on a critical component of the EUV system, the light source. Specifically, it details a laser-produced plasma EUV source. This LPP technology is at the heart of EUV lithography. It involves using a powerful carbon dioxide laser to bombard tiny tin droplets. These droplets, measuring approximately 30 microns in diameter, are vaporized by the laser. This vaporization creates a plasma, a superheated, ionized gas. The plasma emits light, including the crucial 13.5 nanometer wavelength light needed for EUV lithography. Capturing this EUV light is no easy feat. It requires a specialized mirror coated with layers of molybdenum and silicon. This mirror collects and focuses the EUV light, directing it towards the silicon wafer to etch the intricate patterns that form the transistors on a chip. The patent details the design and arrangement of these components, providing a glimpse into ESME's progress in mastering this complex technology. The filing of this patent is significant for several reasons. First, it demonstrates that China is serious about developing its own EUV technology. Second, it suggests that SMEE has made tangible progress in overcoming some of the technical hurdles associated with EUV lithography. Finally, it sends a clear message to the world. China is determined to become a major player in the global semiconductor industry and it is willing to invest heavily to achieve that goal. To truly understand the significance of SME's patent, we need to delve deeper into the technical details. EUV lithography is an incredibly complex process, pushing the boundaries of physics and engineering. The patent reveals that SEMI is focusing on a laser-produced plasma source, the most common approach for generating EUV light. This method, while effective, presents significant engineering challenges. The patent describes a system where a high-powered carbon dioxide laser is precisely targeted at a stream of tin droplets. These droplets, meticulously controlled for size and uniformity, are vaporized by the laser, creating a dense, hot plasma. This plasma emits EUV light, at the desired 13.5 nanometer wavelength. However, the plasma also emits a broad spectrum of other wavelengths, which are detrimental to the lithography process. This is where the specialized mirror comes into play. The patent details a multi-layered mirror designed to reflect the 13.5 nanometer EUV light while allowing other wavelengths to pass through. This mirror, often referred to as a collector, is a marvel of engineering. It consists of Dozens of alternating layers of molybdenum and silicon, each layer just a few atoms thick. These layers are meticulously engineered to create a highly reflective surface for EUV light. 
The patent also provides insights into the design of the droplet generator and the laser system. The droplet generator must produce a precise and consistent stream of tin droplets, while the laser system must deliver short, high-energy pulses to create the plasma. These subsystems are critical to the overall performance of the EUV lithography machine. While the patent filing is a positive sign, it's crucial to remember that developing a commercially viable EUV lithography machine is an enormous undertaking. Even with this patent, SME faces a long and challenging road ahead. The patent, while detailed, represents only a small piece of the puzzle. Transforming this design into a functioning, high-volume manufacturing tool will require overcoming numerous technical hurdles. One of the biggest challenges is achieving the required precision and stability. EUV lithography operates at nanometer scales where even the slightest vibration or temperature fluctuation can ruin the entire process. Building a machine capable of maintaining this level of precision is a monumental task. Another challenge is the availability of critical components. EUV lithography machines rely on highly specialized components, many of which are sourced from a limited number of suppliers. Securing access to these components is crucial for SME's success. Despite these challenges, the potential rewards are enormous. Success in developing domestic EUV capabilities would be a game changer for China's tech industry. It would reduce its reliance on foreign companies and pave the way for greater innovation in areas such as artificial intelligence, 5G and beyond. Moreover, it would have significant geopolitical implications potentially shifting the balance of power in the global semiconductor industry. The world is watching closely as Sami embarks on this ambitious journey. The outcome will have far-reaching consequences for the future of technology.